So welcome to a late night episode. And it's an important one. It's an interesting one. And it's one that I did not think I would be covering at 11 o'clock at night. I didn't. I was like, okay, the day is done. I go on Twitter and everybody had tagged me that the TurboGrafx PC Engine is going to launch in March and all 50 games have been revealed. Yes. There's a lot of information to get through here. There's a lot of games to talk about. I, It's kind of late, so um, please forgive my lack of editing because I, I really want to put this up because I know everybody's going to be bugging me saying, Hey, John, do you know that the Turbo Graphics and PC Engine is getting released? And yes, I do. And I just want to go through a little bit of the information right now. It seems on Monday, uh, July 15th, uh, through... Uh, Amazon, and I believe this is just uh, Amazon in Japan at this point, uh, you can pre-order the PC Engine Mini, and that has 50 games on it. Uh, and th we're going to get to the games. The games are very confusing. It's really good, though. There's a lot of really great titles, but it's confusing what they've done. I've been trying to wrap my head around it for the last 45 minutes. I've been talking to people online. We're all trying to wrap our heads around it. I think I figured it out and it's, it's unusual. It's just definitely unusual. I don't know when it's coming uh, to the US. Maybe it will launch on Amazon on Monday as well. I'm not completely confirmed about that, but it will have 50 games on it as well. That's for the TurboGrafx-16 in America. Now let's go to the games. This is where it gets confusing here. This is where it gets confusing. There is 50 games. Let's just talk about the TurboGrafx. For the TurboGrafx, the American unit. There's 50 games. 24 of them are American games. 26 of them are not. They're PC Engine versions. Here's the confusing bit. Some games, there's, uh, there's Japanese versions and there's American versions. So, let's first say... Newtopia, the action RPG. Released in America here, like Zelda, overhead game. We have the American version, but we also have the Japanese version. So it's 50 games, but it's kind of not at the same time. So some games are overlapping, but we get a lot of Japanese games we've never gotten over here officially. Like Rondo, we get Rondo. So let's go through the list here. I'm going to go through the American list. So we get Alien Crush. We get Victory Run, which is a really fun uh, racing game. Blazing Lasers. That wasn't on my initial list, but I'm glad it's there. Newtopia, uh, Dungeon Explorer, we knew. R-Type. Fantastic. Motor Rotor. Power Golf. Eastbooks 1 and 2, which we knew about. Ninja Spirit. JJ and Jeff. That's cool. I'm happy to get that. Space Harrier, it's kind of not the best version of Space Harrier, but hey, whatever. Military Madness, I can finally play that game with my friend Richard. I'm very stoked about that. Uh, Chu Man Fu, a bit of a puzzle uh, style of game. Uh, Psychosis is coming out. Uh, Bonk's Revenge, that's good news. That's good uh, news. That's a really good, na uh, really good game. Uh, Parasol Stars is coming out. Kadash, Kadash, I have the arcade game over here. We're getting that. Obviously, we're getting New Adventure Island. These, again, are all the American games. We're getting Air Zonk. There were so many people who were like, Johnny, we gotta get Air Zonk. We gotta get Air Zonk. It's there. You got it. And um, we got Newtopia 2, the sequel to Newtopia 1. That's only a great thing. Uh, Soldier Blade. That is such a good, that's such good news. Lords of Thunder. Phenomenal news. Uh, Bomberman 93. Ah! It's there. Okay, that's the American games. Now, these are the Japanese games. Okay, I'm just gonna go down to the actual list itself. Rondo, a, a blood, which finally we get. Uh, Aldines, uh, it's a super graphics game. I'm, I, I don't know if I've ever pronounced that right. I have, I've never, I've always said it in my head. I have the turbo, uh, you know, the super graphics version of it. I've really been thinking about the super graphics lately as well. Uh, a, a pair, uh, gate ball. Uh, uh, Bomberman 94, Bomberman Panic, uh, Bomber, uh, Cho Aniki, uh, Ghouls and Ghosts on the Super Graphics. 
That is wonderful news. That's really great news. And then we get Dungeon Explorer again, the Japanese version. And then we get uh, Fantasy Zone. That's that's really good to get. I'm really happy about that. A side view game I was talking about. Then we get the legendary shooter that goes for so much money online, it's ridiculous. We finally get Sapphire. We get Sapphire. We get uh, Gradius, uh, or if you want to say Gradius, uh, 1 and 2. Uh, we get Necromancer. We get Military Madness, uh, which is known as Nectaris in Japan. We get that again. And we get Newtopia again, and we get Newtopia 2 again. Uh, get ready for some good news. We get Ninja Gaiden. I have that game. It's really, really good. Uh, we get Bonk. We get Salamander. That's another great side view shooter. I'm off. And then here's a weird one. And a great one, but it's the Japanese one. I'm sure they didn't translate this. There's no way they're doing that. It'll just be the straight Japanese one, which will be weird for a lot of people. Snatcher. Yes, we get Snatcher, but it's the Japanese version. Unless they've been really incredible and translated it, there's no way they did that. There's no way they did that. If they did, no, they didn't do that. And we get Superstar Soldier, which is a great choice. Super Darius, always wonderful to get a Darius game. Um, Super Mamataro uh, Densetsu 2. Densetsu 2, yeah. And we get Star Parodia. And then we get China Warrior, and I, here, this is controversial. I like China Warrior, and a lot of people don't. I remember seeing the huge characters on the screen, I was like, that is, that is cool. And we get Eastbooks 1 and 2 once again. I know, it's very confusing, so I don't know why they just didn't make a TurboGrafx version, you know, with all the TurboGrafx games, the American versions for the American audience and do a Japanese version for the Japanese audience. Even the Japanese would be getting games that were like, why are we getting this game? I, I, I kind of think that. So I think at this point, I was asking around online, this is the final list of games. This is the final list of games. Now, when are we getting them? I don't know when the pre-orders are uh, going up officially uh, for America. If anybody does know, let me know down below. It's late at night right now. It's the Japanese version's going for about $100 US. So I'm thinking around the same. That That's not a bad price for all, 50 games. That's good. I like that. What else do we get? Um, we get, this is, this is kind of neat because we get this on the Japanese site. We get um, a turbo controller you can uh, use, a turbo tap, and an AC adapter you can get. And all of this will ship in March 2020. So we got a bit of a wait, but pre-orders are seeming to go up uh, pretty soon. What do you guys think of the list? It's confusing, isn't it? I know I'm saying it over and over, but this is bizarre. This is bizarre. Could you imagine the NES Classic launch with half of the games were Japanese uh, and you couldn't read them uh, at times? It'd be strange, right? It's, a, it's an odd decision. I think they wanted to unify it and make it simple and go, dump all the ROMs here, dump all the ROMs here, we're done. We just made the shells, we're out of here. I think they did it for the simplicity of that, for sure, but I must admit something. I'm excited. I'm excited. Do I wish there was more games? Yes, I wish there wasn't repeat games, but I'm happy with what's there. I'm a happy guy. Do you know, wait a second. Wait a second. You know, hold on here. We don't have legendary axe. That is a crushing defeat. That's just bizarre. That's just bizarre. I, I picked 20 games that should definitely be on this machine. I'd say a lot of them are on here, but not to have legendary axe? What else did I pick? I, I'm doing this off the top of my head. Vigilante. Vigilante should have been there. Uh. Yeah, some of the, like, you know, J.J. Harold Murder Club, and it came from the desert. Exile. Some of those games. Uh, Cosmic Fantasy 2. Some of those games would be cool, but you know what? At this point, beggars can't be choosers, and I'm, we're getting a lot of amazing games. If I can sit and play Dungeon Explorer with my friends on a HDMI TV with a turbo tap, I'm, 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 easily, I'm easily pleased that way for sure. So definitely, guys... Let me know what you think. I'm really happy to see some super graphics games in there as well. To get uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, the super graphics version, 
it's honestly a wonderful version of the of the game and uh for people out there to be able to play ebooks one and two the way i played it back in the day it's a win-win for all of us so Guys, I think that's about it. Uh, let's, you know, I'll keep you updated. You keep me updated in the comments down below. And we'll keep on talking about the Turbo Graphics. It's coming out. It's coming out March 2020. And the PC Engine is coming out as well in 2020. And let me tell you, I love the look of the, P I love the PC Engine. I wonder if I can just get the PC Engine version. Because I, I like that look even more than I like the Turbo Graphics look. I, I don't need the Turbo Graphics look for nostalgia, but... Anyways, so I'm out of here. I'm going to go to bed. So anyways, guys, until next time.